What is up guys? Welcome to another episode of Chad G Garage. So today I want to get the swap installed. The main goal is to get this clutch installed, this XTD clutch and pretty $50 eBay China red pressure plate installed into the car. So I'm going to pull the trans off. The trans is really dirty. I'm going to take the trans to the car wash and clean it off. Um, put the new clutch in. Get the swap all cleaned up. I gotta do some wiring on it. Looks like the VTEC solenoid. Um, I think there was some relooming that needed to be done. And I think, oh yes, the uh, fan switch. The fan switch needs, the wiring needs to be redone as well. So um, I don't know how much work I'm gonna be able to film here because I wanna get this done and this installed into the car tonight. So I mean, maybe I can just do like a time lapse or something like that. I don't really know. But um, it's already 9 o'clock. I, I need to get this done. Like, I need to swap in tonight because I, I just have to because I'm not going to have a whole lot of work time. I'm not going to have a whole lot of time this week to work on the car. So if I can get this swap into the chassis and get all the, like, the dirty work done tonight, then I'll be able to tinker with it as I have time for the week. And probably by, like Wednesday or Thursday, I'll actually be able to drive the car finally. So. That's the goal tonight. Install the clutch, take the trans to the car wash, spray it off and clean it, get the entire swap into the engine bay, and unfortunately the fuel filter is not going to get tucked. I've decided against that. It's going to go right back to its original location. I'm just going to clean it up nice and make it look good. I, I just can't deal with like bending the OEM lines and like trying to get everything to fit underneath the intake manifold. The right way to do it is to get like an actual like an Earl's inline filter and AM lines, and I don't want to deal with any of that crap on this car, so it will it will remain OEM. Not a big deal though. So I'm gonna get to work here. Um, yeah, I'll see you guys when the swaps in. So this trans is pretty dirty, so what I'm gonna do is just throw it in the truck, take it to the car wash, and I'm gonna spray it off with the pressure washer because I don't have a pressure washer. So there's the before, and here is the after. And there she is. So, another thing that I did is I got to the car wash and I realized, oh crap, I forgot to grab the intermediate shaft and I forgot to grab the, uh, or the intermediate shaft goes over here. Usually what I do is I grab an intermediate shaft and an axle and I pop them in there so that when you're spraying it, you don't get water inside the transmission. So, I got to the car wash, I was like, whatever, I'll be fine, I'll just be careful. I didn't get it quite as clean as I wanted to around, you know, the axle area because I didn't want to spray water directly into the transmission, but I mean, it looks a lot better. I'm happy with it. I'm gonna run it. I really wanna get this thing on the road, so. Not a bad way to clean your trans off for a buck 25. Alright, so I lied guys. I didn't get the swap in. I did get the clutch installed though. So one of my buddies came over while I was taking the trans out and uh, we just kind of hung out, had a couple beers, so that was why it didn't get filmed and that is why I'm behind. So not a big deal. You know, I, I, I don't mind at all. I just, you know, put me back a little bit. I'm just going to have to come out here and bust ass to get the swap in tomorrow. So, um, so it had a, this clutch that was in it, it was actually an ACT, like, not really sure what exactly, what model it is, I, I might look it up, I don't know. I actually just posted it up, actually already posted this clutch up for sale, and already sold it for the price that I paid for the clutch that I just installed. So basically it's a free clutch and it's going to engage much, be much better and it's going to be so much nicer to drive, so. Um, yeah, it's all installed, as you can see. The red pressure plate instead of the yellow one. Um, trans is all cleaned up. I can see how dirty the engine is. So the engine will be super easy to clean. I also cleaned up and fixed two wiring issues. One with the VTEC pressure switch and one on the main harness there. I don't, know, I don't even know what wire it was. I just you know soldered it up really quick and wrapped it up. So the swap is ready to go in now. There's no work that needs to be done to the swap except for like filling it up with fluids. So that will get done tomorrow and I'm excited. You know, I made good progress. You know, I just got set back because one of my buddies came over, which is cool. Hung out, had a couple beers, and I just didn't feel like filming. 
Um, I did paint a couple brackets. I painted the bracket for the fuel filter, which is going to go up against the firewall there. It's back there. I'm not even going to show you guys. They're just painted black. And a couple of brackets that go on the trans. I also painted the starter black. So, so it's going to look good. It's going to be done tomorrow. It's going to go. It's going to go in tomorrow. And I got to clean this damn garage because it's freaking trash. So, so yeah, there we are. Dirty garage, tools and shit everywhere. But you know that's part of the game. So, I'm excited. Basically, sold the clutch. Got the new clutch installed. Um, ready to drop the swap in tomorrow, and you know I'm just gonna continue working. <laughs> you guys thought I was putting the engine in. No, the engine's not in. So, problems. Number one, eBay mounts. This is what you should not buy. This is what you should buy. Should not buy, should buy. So, this car came with one Hasport upper mount and then a eBay other upper mount and I was having problems getting the engine in. I couldn't get the trans bracket to line up with this for reasons I'm not sure. Um, it did kind of come out hard when I pulled the swap originally and I don't know why, you know, I don't know why it came out so hard. So I don't know what I'm going to do about it. I mean, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to make another attempt, but the main reason I, I didn't get it in on that video is, you know, my wire tuck here on the on the driver's side of the car is not going to work. It did, the wiring harness is like perfectly hitting the alternator right where I thought that it might. So I got to fix that wiring and it's going to be a pain to do with the engine in. So that's why I ended up pulling it back out. But I was on the struggle bus there for a good 10, 10 15 minutes trying to get that passenger side mount to line up. So I don't know what I'm going to do over there. Ideally, I'd like to get a set of OEM mounts because I am not a fan of the um, upgraded like Delrin mounts because they make the chassis kind of vibrate a little bit but I've ran these before and they fit perfectly I've never had issues with installation so it's really weird that I'm having this issue I think that you know the other two mounts being these cheap eBay mounts I think that they probably are just not lining up to the trans mount correctly so I don't know I'm gonna fix my wiring and fix or check my alignment issues with the engine in the bay again and hopefully get it in tomorrow because tonight it's getting late, I'm frustrated and I don't feel like doing any wiring. I already put all my wiring stuff away so I guess I'll have to get it back out tomorrow and finish the wiring. I'll update the wire tuck status and what I did to get the driver's side harness tucks away because what I did is not going to work. So um, it should be an easy fix but I'll see you guys tomorrow. Alright, so I've been dinking around the garage today. It's Sunday and the sun's out been doing some spring cleaning even though it's not even spring but at least the sun's out which is nice so the matrix the matrix got a dent in it yesterday i had to go to detroit to pick up a body kit and somebody backed into the car or something on the right rear put a huge dent in it so that sucks luckily it's only a 300 dollars car so i don't give a shit so yeah i got a, i got a body kit for the lexus you guys will see that soon but uh i'm starting to work on the wiring now so here was the issue i had these connectors they were like right here and when i put the engine in the alternator pulley sits about right here and it was rubbing these connectors now this is not where it needs to be i've got the wiring all loose from the radiator support so it's just kind of dangling down there and i have a lot of room for the harness to come this way like probably four or five inches but the limiting factor is this ground right here. So I'm gonna go ahead and extend that ground so that I can pull the harness back about three inches and I'm gonna get the harness to sit back probably about where that rag is there. Oh, I also installed a uh, uh, clutch, a new clutch line. So nice little piece there. So that'll clean the bay up as well. So I'm gonna do that. You guys will see the finished product here in a second. And there we have it, it's tucked away. 
up on the frame there and it can actually go back into or behind the shock tower there so that should be good so just a test fit for now here's the new ground that I made I just extended it down and soldered it right here to the three grounds for the headlights and I think that's the AC compressor which I'm not going to be using anymore but it will be functional if the next owner decides to so I guess now I'm going to try to get the engine in again and uh, if the engine fits good then I'm going to go ahead and get the wiring secure but for now I just kind of have it dangling because I don't know 100% sure I'm kind of worried about this harness right here coming in contact with it so we might have to move this around so we'll see We'll see, I'm gonna hopefully be able to get this swap in with these cheap, crappy eBay mounts that we're running here. I don't know if it's gonna work, but I'm gonna give it a go, and I guess I can film it if, I guess you guys might wanna see that, who knows. But I'm gonna get the engine in now, and hopefully it goes a lot smoother than it did last night. Oh, finally the engine is in finally so struggle bus today again here's the issue this cheap mount here this cheap mount eBay mount it's 1320 brand I believe it's just eBay van brand but this was the whole problem this part here it shifts the entire assembly back like I don't know probably three millimeters and I can't get these three bolts in and it also made it difficult to get the back tranny mount in to get the engine hung in the bay so that was the struggle. It took me about 20 minutes. I dinged up my engine bay, which is a bummer, but I'll get some touch-up paint and get that looking good again. It just it sucks, man. That's really bad. This is from last night, but man, such a bummer. The paint looks so good in here. But, I mean, that stuff happens, you know, projects like this. I, I probably should have pulled the engine up from the bottom, but I always come out and go in from the top on Hondas because I think it's easier. I've tried going up from the bottom before and it's just, I mean, it's not too much worse, but it takes so much longer. So we're making progress. She'll be running soon. She'll be running this week, hopefully. I'm gonna try to come out here. Um, I should be able to come out here almost every night this week to work on the car and finish it up. So um, we're gonna work on the slips. I gotta get these refinished because they look crusty. So we're working on the crusty slips. I got one test fitted over here so you guys can kind of see Get an idea of what's going on with it. Um, not bad looking, but like I said, they're crusty. They need to be refinished. Welcome to the salt region. So, it is what it is. We're making progress. Should be driving it. I mean, should be running within, you know, the next night I come out here. I'm going to spend the rest of the night here just kind of cleaning up the garage because we got crap everywhere. I mean, I'm, this place is trashed, so... Yeah, should be able to put the heater away. Hopefully put the heater away this week because it's supposed to warm up. And I got to install a new power steering pump. Um, there's loose bolts in here. Get the wiring tucked in through the uh, firewall there, it's hooked up to the ECU. Um, this is emissions, so I got to finish my emissions delete. Uh, I'll show you guys how I did that. Actually, I think I already did. I just, you just removed the uh, charcoal canister, so. I'm stoked, it's in, we're making progress. I am super excited to get this thing done and on the road so I can start driving it and hopefully start working on the Lexus here because I've purchased a whole bunch of parts for it and I'm really excited to get the Lexus on the road as well. So um, that's gonna be easy. The engine is not coming out or anything, just like cosmetics, suspension, wheels, stuff like that. But projects always take much longer than you expect, so you never know. Um, next video on this, we're gonna get it running. Um, I'm going to paint the wheels, the slipstreams, just paint them the regular black that they are, just to make them look nicer. Um, install the fenders, install the front end, get all the wiring hooked up. New fluids, I'm going to buy, or I already bought, all new fluids for it. So those are going to go in um, on the next video. Um, like I said, I'm just going to spend the rest of the day cleaning the garage up and uh, just getting everything tidy, ready to go. This place is trashed. So um, I'll catch you guys next video. 
give me a like, give me a subscribe if you like what I'm doing. Um, you know, give me some pointers. Um, I'd like to get some, I'd like to get a better camera, guys. I apologize for the quality of videos that I'm putting out, but I got like eight subscribers. Nobody really cares what I'm doing. So I can't justify going out and spending 500 bucks on a camera, but if I can get like a thousand subscribers, I'll go out and get like a really nice camera and maybe some editing software so I can learn and be able to put out better content for you guys here. But for now, hopefully you guys like what I'm doing. Hopefully you guys can, you know, hang in there with me while I'm learning. I'm still learning YouTube and learning how to video and learning, I don't know, how I can put out content that people will like. So, um, like I said, stay tuned for the next video. We'll have it running. Um, it's going to be looking better. All the parts are going to be more installed. And um, from then on, just little stuff and uh, just maintenance on the car, on the chassis. And I'm going to start driving it here pretty soon because the weather is getting really nice. Check it out. So, 40 degrees in Michigan. Can't complain about that. So, take it easy, guys. I'll catch you guys next video.